What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at Apple Loops. What they are, how to use them, all that fun stuff. So as you probably know by now, Logic and GarageBand comes with a massive library of excellent loops to get you started. Everything from drums, bass, guitars, vocal chops, etc, etc, etc. Everything you need to produce various genres of music. These loops can be MIDI loops and they're also audio loops. The great thing about these loops is that once you instantiate them in the project, you can edit them, cut, copy, paste, you can split them, chop them up, and make them your own as well. So let's take a look at the loop browser and bring in loops into a project. To bring up the loop browser, the shortcut key for that is going to be O. So if I press the letter O, show hide loop browser. It says show hide loop browser. Let's get out of this tracks Auto header area. Apple loops group. And here we have the Apple loops groups. So if we interact in with Apple this, loops, column view, radio button, two of two, loop packs all packs pop up button so you can use this to kind of filter what loops are shown menu 30s blues garage chill walk chinese tradition chromium frag deep house disco phone so these are just some of the different categories and genres that you can select from drummer. dubstep uh drummer loops mean that's going to pull up an instance of drummer and these are some loops to get you started with the drummer instrument edges and angles electro house all right so those are some categories you can Closing pick menu. from loop types button x an instrument uncheck checkbox you can sort by instruments, genre, uncheck, checkbox, genre, descriptors, uncheck, checkbox, descriptors, fat, dim, button, horizontal splitter, scale, any, scale, pop up, button. you can pick the scale here, menu, minor, major, neither, both, closing menu, so any, major, scale, minor, pop -up, pop -up. neither, or both, signature, any, signature, pop up, button. you can pick a time signature, menu, two slash two, two slash four, three slash four, four slash four, so, closing menu, you can use all these to filter down what loops the system shows you. Search loop, search text field, you can also just search for keywords as well. Loops, table, no selection. This is a table for the loops, and I'm going to go past this table for a second. Play pop-up menu. Play loops in their original key, the project key, or any key from C to B. Menu button. All right, so now you can have this play in the project key or the original key. If you set the key for the project in the details group when you're creating the project, these loops will adhere to that. Otherwise, it'll just play in their default key, or you can set them to whatever key you want to play. In. So even if you didn't set the key for your project when you created a project, you can still come in here and say, all right, this song is going to be in D minor, VO space on Menu, this. 16, I check mark, play an original key, C, C number, D, D number. And pick the key from e. here that you want Echo. them to play in. Closing menu, play in pop preview, uncheck, checkbox. So you can have this allow you to preview the loops. Basically, so once you highlight a loop in the loop browser, it will start playing that loop so you can hear what it sounds like. You can VO space on it to stop the preview or you can VO space on it to restart the preview. If you don't have this checked, nothing will play until you VO space on a loop. It won't automatically play when you navigate to them with VO in the loop table. Plus 0.0, .0 decibels, preview volume, slider. And this is just the volume of the preview. So if the preview is too loud, you can't hear voiceover over it. You can either turn up voiceover or you can turn down the volume of the loop right here. 26,112 items. And this just shows the amount of loops that are available now since we didn't filter anything down. All right, so let's go take a look in that table at some of the loops that we have here. Plus zero preview, play in pop-up menu, loops, table, row one of 26,112. Type real loop, image, name, 12 bar blue space, B. Here we are at the loop table. I'm going to interact with this. Loops, beats, 16, name, 12 bar blue space. And as you view right arrow through this, beats, 16. it shows you the length. Favorite favorites checkbox. Mark a loop as a favorite. Click the favorites button to show your favorite loops. Uncheck checkbox. You can add this to your favorites. And then once again, you can use the favorite buttons to only show your favorites. Tempo, 80. It shows you the original tempo. And you can have this play back at the project tempo, which is what it usually does. Key, key. Echo. It shows you the original key. Type software loop image. And now when it says software loop, that means it's a MIDI loop. And real loop image. If I go up to the previous loop that says real loop, that means that's an audio loop. All right. So that's how you can tell what type of loop you're working with here. Name 12 bar blues bass. Let's take this 12 bar blues bass loop. All right. I like the sound of that. So I'm going to copy this one. I just did command C to copy and now I'm going to do command V to paste. That will paste it into the project or create a new track for it in the Auto project. Loops, table. Auto Apple loops. Group. Go tracks, over to group. a track. In tracks, group. tracks, tracks, in tra tracks, time, tracks, header, group, in tracks, header, track two, 12 bar blues base, group. All right, so you see track two, 12 bar blues base. And if I hit space, and if 
I do five bars one beat one, one bar one beat one division one tick control and then control home we can see the length of this and this is a four bar loop so it goes from bar one to bar five let's say i want this loop to continue on right i can press command r to repeat it so if i do that now this loop will go nine bars, one beat one five bars one beat one division one from tick. five to nine one bar one beat five bars one beat one five bars one beat one division one tick <laughs> Now, the thing to be aware of is if I were to paste this loop again, it will just paste onto another track. So case in point, let's say I want there to be a gap from 9 to 13. I want this loop to come back in at measure 13. Six, seven, eight bar, nine bar, 10 bar, 11, 12 bars, 1 beat, 13 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, there 1 There we tick. go. I'll just paste this track there two, at measure 13. Space. Track 3, 12 bar, blue space. Blue. Except it created a new track. And what's going on here is because... I copied and pasted from the loop browser, it still has what's in the loop browser on the clipboard. So when I copy and paste again, it's just going to paste from the loop browser onto a new track. So I'm going to do command Z to undo, undo. this. Track two, 12 bar blue space. What you want to do is just select one of these instances. So I'm just going to tap the right arrow twice here. Five bars, one, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. We got the one that goes from measure one to measure five selected. So I'm just going to copy. copy that. And now that I have that region selected and copied, when I paste that measure 13. Two bar, three bar, four, five, six, seven, eight bar, nine bar, 10 bars, 11 bar, 12 bar, 13 bars, one beat, one division, one, set paste. All right, so now that I paste that measure 13. 13 bars, one beat, 13 bar. We see. The track two, 12 bar, blue space. Group. It didn't create a new track in the project. So that's why you want to select it first and then copy and paste if you want to paste it somewhere else in the project without it creating a new track because otherwise it'll just keep creating a new track every time you paste that loop again. So, all right, let's add a second loop to the project. Same deal. We stop interacting with this. We go back to the loop Apple browser. Loops, group. In Apple, column view, loop path, all path, loop type, X, instrument, on genre, on descript, fab, horizontal, scale, any, signature, any, search loop, search loops, table, row one and go to loops, table. In loops, table, 12 string dream zero one, 12 string dream zero two, 12 string dream zero three, 12 string dream zero four, 12 Let's string dream zero five, 12 string dream zero six, 12 string dream zero seven, 12 string dream zero eight, 12 string dream zero nine, 12 eight acoustic strum zero one, 12 eight acoustic strum zero two. Let's go with 12 eight acoustic, 12 eight strum, acoustic zero strum. One. All right, let's go with that one. So I just video space to stop the playback. I'm going to copy it and let's put the playhead where we want this to be pasted. So bars, one beat, one division, 11 bar, 10, not eight, seven, bar, six, five bars, one beat, one want division, this one to tick. come in at measure five. And now I got the playhead at measure five. I'm going to do command V to paste. And now up, 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 up. I go back to the track. Tracks, the headers. Track, tra 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 tracks, tracks, header, group, in track, track, three, twelve, eight, acoustic strum, zero, one inches. Group. And now we got acoustic strum on its own track. Track, three, 12, track two, 12 bar blues bass, group. And the 12 bar blues bass on its track, own three, 12, track, eight, right? So. Five bars, one beat, one division, one tip. And you could uh, change the key, uh, make sure they're in the same key and all that stuff as well. Um, and you can do that with the transpose slider in the region inspector um, if you didn't set them all to be in the same key when you started. All right. So that's pretty much it. Once again, you can select this region and copy and paste it somewhere else in the project. Just remember to do that. Otherwise, you'll paste it on a new track. So have fun exploring all the loops in Logic and building some tracks with it. Share some links to some stuff in the comments below if you do build anything with the Logic loops and let us check it out. Remember to like and subscribe. Share with someone you know who might want to get into Logic. And until next time, as always, happy recording, or I guess I should say in this case, happy looping.